I was going through my old Boruto theories and stumbled upon my almost two year old Amado theory and noticed that some comments said that I predicted a lot and I didn't even notice that my theory had come true. Actually quite accurate. I was definitely on the right track to predict Amado's goal and intention. Since then of course a lot has changed and I think due to the fact how solid this theory was, we should definitely continue to work on it and try to go a step further with the latest revelations and finally reveal Amado's goal. Today I will show you that Amado could probably be one of the two unknown Otsutsukis while one of them is 100% Shibai Otsutsuki and the other one is the original user of Aider's enchantment ability because it was revealed that this ability does not belong to Shibai. So either Amado is Shibai Otsutsuki and the other Otsutsuki is his daughter or the story about his daughter is a lie and Amado if he is Shibai used his ability to alter reality to create this lie about his daughter. Or Amado is not Shibai but the second Otsutsuki and is trying to bring Shibai back to the mortal world after he became a god and his soul moved to the higher dimension. This will also fit to the idea that Amado's daughter is a lie. Let's talk about it. If you end up liking this video consider subscribing, please enjoy this video, let's go! Let's begin with what I predicted two years ago and why I thought this would happen. So I told you that Amado tried to kill Ishiki not only because Ishiki is evil but because his death is part of Amado's plan. Of course he can't reveal that to Konoha. General rule in my opinion is everything that comes out of Amado's mouth is a lie. Any important and especially suspicious characters who don't have inner monologues are most likely liars. This applies to absolutely every series. Often such characters are later revealed as traitors and sometimes even as main villains. Amado has no inner monologues at all which means that we readers have never once seen what Amado actually thinks. So everything he says must be considered a potential lie, in this case absolutely everything. Also I have been able to predict Amado's general intent which is that he's trying to resurrect his daughter. With the knowledge he has gathered from Jigen's organization about Otsutsuki's and especially about karma. Also I predicted that the karma he was going to give Kawaki was for his daughter. Or for himself if the story about his daughter was a lie. In this case it would mean that he himself must be Otsutsuki. Now in Boruto the existence of Shibai Otsutsuki has been revealed who was very likely on earth. So that will definitely fit Amado. Also I predicted that Amado's artificial karma can only be given to a person person who has already undergone the Otsutskification because he will try to override the already completed process with other data, most likely his daughters. So this is the idea. After understanding everything for his artificial karma, he needed Ishiki to create a new vessel so that later he could force Ishiki to reincarnate into Jigen and thus use the new vessel for his daughter or himself. But to achieve this goal he had to find a way to kill Ishiki after making him reincarnate into Jigen. His cyborgs can only go up against Jigen but not Ishiki. So he came up with a very smart plan. He knew that the only two people in the world who can defeat Ishiki are Naruto and Sasuke. But in order for Naruto and Sasuke to even fight Ishiki, Amado had to create a reason for Ishiki's visit in Konoha. And so Amado planned to take away what was most important to Ishiki and put it right in front of the Kanoa Shinobis, that is Kawaki and all the important data. Then Amado had to somehow get to Konoha and gather important information about Konoha so that he could reunite with Kawaki and then give him his artificial karma. Therefore he created Koji with the DNA of Jiraiya, which allowed him to get to Konoha. Amado specifically chose Jiraiya's genes to gain sympathy from Naruto. Because he planned to show the fight between Koji and Jigen to prove his credibility and build an emotional connection with Naruto. However, Amado also knew that Ishiki is not the only problem. Code is actually much stronger than Jigen. The idea is that Amado could predict that Cold would try to find a way to remove his limiters by asking Ada who knows everything. Therefore Amado decided to give Ada the ability to steal hearts, knowing that she would be interested in Kawaki. At that time he didn't know about the existence of Boruto, but it happened that Boruto is just too young for Ada so it didn't ruin his plan. Think about it, the only reason Amado created those cyborgs was supposedly to defeat Jigen and Ishiki, but Ada is way too weak and has no ability that could help her in battle. 
and her ability to steal hearts doesn't work on Otsutsuki's either. So this ability wouldn't work anyway if she tried to control Ishiki. This means that Amado could not have created Ada for Jigen or Ishiki but for anything or anyone else. So for a very different purpose than defeating Ishiki. But Amado said that every cyborg was made only for this purpose. This means that Amado could have actually lied about his intention and he probably never trusted Jigen and always planned to betray him. He just makes it look like he's the victim that Jigen lied to when in fact he's the one who predicted everything from the beginning and never trusted Jigen to begin with. Amado was never really looking for a vessel for Jigen but always for himself or his daughter. The only reason he could have created Ada was to use her abilities for the second step of his plan in Konoha. So the ability to see things from the past most likely to make his lie about his past believable. And the love ability most likely because he knew Code will ask her how to remove the limiters. Which will lead her to convince him not to attack Kawaki and also spare Amado's life because because Amado is Ada's key to Konoha and thus to Kawaki. To me there's just no other explanation why he gave a cyborg such extremely overpowered abilities that are useless against Ishiki. And it must be mentioned that we didn't see how Amado was affected by her ability, of course he acted nervous. But she didn't ask anything of him that he wouldn't have done anyway to prove that he really was affected by her ability. So he could very well be Natsutsuki himself. That makes the fact that Amado knew where Shibai's body was and all the information about him much more suspicious. So he's either Shibai himself trying to revive his partner, maybe it is actually his Otsutsuki daughter, or he is Shibai's partner trying to bring Shibai back from the higher dimension. That would be a possibility if these two Otsutskis are trying to become a god but not leave the dimension. We know that those Otsutsukis who manage to consume enough chakra fruits leave their bodies and become gods living in another dimension. Perhaps Shibai Otsutsuki with the help of Amado is trying to bypass this and become a god in the mortal dimension. For this he must somehow place his karma even though his spirit is already in the other dimension. In any case it's an interesting idea. Amado is definitely very suspicious in this regard. He knew about things like Shinjutsu, Shibai's past, Kaguya's past and basically basically everything you need to know in Naruto. That's really only possible if you use the power of Ada at some point to be able to see into the past. But we know that this ability is limited to when the person using it was born. The fact that Amado knows about things that may go back thousands of years could prove that he was born thousands of years ago and that before he became the weak person he is today, he was Shibai Otsutsuki with the same power that Ada uses now. Or that other second Otsutsuki, or at least was in contact with one of those two Otsutsukis who told him everything about the past. I can't imagine that Ishiki or Jigen gave this information to Amado. Maybe about Kaguya but definitely not about Shibai Otsutsuki, why would they? And now we come to a very interesting detail. Momoshiki has suggested that Shibai Otsutsuki has probably played with people's memories before. He basically raised the question of how many times something like what Ada did has happened to humanity. And since it is Shibai's power, he indirectly implied that that Shibai must have done it himself in the past which proves that he must have been on earth one day. This fits with the assumption that Amado found Shibai's body on earth and was able to give his cyborgs all the abilities. So there's almost no doubt that one of these two unknown Otsutsukis must be Shibai. Think about it, Shibai Otsutsuki has a reason to destroy the stone wall only when he has something to hide. That fits with the idea that he must have changed people's memories in the past. So we can relate the fact that he destroyed the stone walls to the fact that he changed people's reality at least once. Any change he made must of course be significant to the Boruto series. And I'm also pretty sure that this won't have any impact on the original Naruto series itself because that will just ruin the entire series. Especially for people who don't read Boruto. So it has to be something that happened in the past but wasn't mentioned in Naruto and had nothing to do with the Naruto plot and was only revealed in Boruto. 
it can be something that tries to manipulate an Otsutsuki because Otsutsukis are not affected by this ability. So that leaves only one possibility. The whole story about Amado's daughter, which was confirmed as true by Ada. That Ada has confirmed this story does not mean that it is actually true, but only that it is part of the current reality. For example, if Amado is Shibai and in the past used his ability to make it look like there was a person named Amado who had a daughter, then Ada will see that as part of reality even though it is a lie. If that is true, then that will mean that Amado created Ada to have her prove his life, because otherwise Konoha will never trust him. That is more or less the basic idea. As I said, there are a lot of possibilities here. Maybe Amado is even the father of Kaguya and tries to revive Kaguya if she died in this one dimension. Of course, we know that Delta appears to be Amado's daughter and has her memories. But Amado could have programmed her that way on purpose so that he could make the lie more believable without the help of Ada. So he had to pretend to work on Delta even though no one was watching because he knew that at some point he would use Ada to build Konoha's trust. If Amado is really the father of Kaguya, this will not explain what happened to the second Otsutsuki, so this is rather unlikely unless we assume that the second Otsutsuki is his wife, for example. And something might have happened to her when they both tried to save Kaguya or something. We saw these two statues of two unknown Otsutsukis in Kaguya's dimension, which could fit with the two Otsutsukis from the stone wall and also with the idea that they could have something to do with Kaguya. This will definitely fit with the mother-father relationship. Relationship. But in this case, it's a lot of speculation, so let's stick to the facts. The fact is that Ada's love ability did not come from Shibai, which could indicate that it came from the second Anna Notsutsuki, so it may be the ability of Amado's or Shibai's daughter or his Otsutsuki partner. The last thing I want to mention, but it's a bit off topic, is that although Ada has changed reality, the physical things in Konoha could still provide clues that Kawaki is not Naruto's son, such as photos, letters, or recordings of Boruto on TV, unless Ada's ability manipulates current perception from things in the past. Let me know in the comments what you think of this Boruto theory. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. This helps the YouTube algorithm to push the video so that I get more views and thus can produce better and more videos for you in the future. And don't forget to subscribe for more Boruto content. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.